Wow, I've just had a delivery from Amazon. I bought this particular item for my daughter who's studying to be a dentist. This is to help her with her studies. This is the U-Perfect portable monitor. So this is a 15.6 inch portable monitor. It works off USB-C or you can use HDMI if you don't have a USB-C output. And it's super light, super small, super convenient, super easy to travel. So we're going to have a look at this in a second. I'm going to use this knife to open up, do an unboxing, and then we're going to connect it to her laptop. She's got a MacBook, and we're going to see what it looks like with a dual mic uh, monitor setup. So let's have a look right now. Beautifully packaged, as you might imagine. This is super cheap. I've got to say, for the price, have a look at the link below if you want to find out the latest price. This is value for money. If it's any good when we connect it to the laptop, I'll be impressed. So let's just open this. Ah, come on, come on, come on, you. Vacuum packing makes it difficult. Ah, there we go. Put that out of the way. Oh, okay. So this is the kind of Apple style packaging. Nicely packaged here. Let's get the actual monitor out. Little bit heavier than I thought, if I'm honest. But let's open that and then see. She's waiting in the wings ready to take this off me and then connect it to her laptop. I've convinced her to let me uh, film her connecting it to the laptop, but she's not showing her face. She's shy. There we go. So we have, uh, they class this as leather. It's PU polyurethane. That case is rather nice. So let's have a look. You can see I can't. Let me see now. That looks fantastic. And this is also what they call a kickstand. All the usual uh, leaflets and so on. Now you do get a whole bunch of connectors with this. So this is a smart connector that looks like a normal HDMI to a mini HDMI. Then we get um, a USB a to USB-C, that would be for power. And then we get USB-C to USB-C. Now, depending on the particular laptop that you have, that's all you need. A single USB-C cable will power the monitor and give you the HDMI output. And then we have, I guess, this would be a power connector. Yep, that is a power connector if you need to power it separately from your laptop. Now, fortunately with the MacBook, or the MacBook Pro, you don't need to do that. So what we're going to see next is this thing connected to a MacBook Pro. So we're going to connect the U-Perfect uh, portable monitor now. My daughter's going to use a USB-C to her MacBook. You do get the HDMI cable, of course. If you use HDMI cable, you will need to add USB-C power or the uh, power plug that comes with this. So she's going to connect this now uh, and use the what they call the kickstand so that we can uh, just sort of see the monitor in action. So she's plugging the other end of the cable around the back of the monitor. And I would actually probably get a smaller cable, to be honest, that's quite a long cable. Most of us are gonna use this next to the laptop, I imagine. So, um, oh, look, it's already connected. Now, there is a men uh, menu on this, on the left-hand side, that she's gonna to use to change the brightness and contrast. So you can see now, yeah, brightness up, um, that looks good to me. So she's going to drag the browser tab across from the MacBook. Great that it connected so quickly and easily. And then she's going to make that um, full screen. And then we'll have a look. And you see that's my channel there. Now, one thing you can do with these, of course, is zoom in. So if she zooms in with Control and uh, Plus, you can see the kind of, uh, if we just stop there for a second, we can see the kind of quality. And I, I think that's, re that's really good. That is amazing. I'm honestly blown away by that. That's better than mine. I want to steal this off. Anyway, anyway, so we go back uh, with Command and Zero to normal size. Uh, and let's have a look at a random video. Because this particular monitor has built-in speakers, I'm going to let you listen to it. Now, the problem is you're listening to the speaker through my microphone. It's going to sound a bit tinnier than it would on big speakers, of course, but it's a built-in speaker. So let's play any of these videos. Um, and actually, let's just make that uh, quality, go to the gear icon on the video, change the quality, gear icon down, there we go, and change the settings so we get high quality rather than auto. 
um, go up to 1080. There we go. It's a little bit sharper. Let me let you listen to this. And I think we're on maximum volume. There is a volume button on the uh, monitor itself. There we go. Let's just pause that now. So the volume um, control is on the monitor. I think you have to use it on the monitor rather than on the laptop in this particular case. Might be different with the Microsoft Surface Pro or whatever. But the quality of the image is great as far as I'm concerned. The sound is good enough. Uh, you do have a headphone jack on the side of the monitor as well if you wanted to listen privately. If you were working on a train or something like that, or perhaps in a library, which is where my daughter will be working, you would probably plug in headphones or maybe use Bluetooth from the Mac, I don't know. So if you're using this for work or for study, you might need to do some research or you might need to do some typing. So we're gonna open a Google Doc and have a look at that and see what it's like. Is the uh, text crisp and so on? So we'll use voice dictation. Let's turn that on now. And I think the keyboard command is Command Shift S for that. As you can see, we're using voice dictation and this particular monitor is giving a very crisp text. As I speak, I'm seeing text that is very legible and easy to read. Even though we're using a small font, it's pretty good. Now, I do want to try and zoom in a little bit on this. So what I'll do is pause for a second. And now we've zoomed in, you should be able to see the text a little bit better. And it's completely crisp. It's really impressive. I have to say, this is better than the portable monitor I have. So I may, when my daughter's back is done, I may steal this off her, we'll see. Um, she might get annoyed if I do that, we'll see anyway. Uh, I might even get one of these for myself. And the other thing is, if you wanted to, you could set up a three monitor setup by getting a second one of these and plugging it into the other USB-C cable or use a USB hub if you need to. And then you've got two extra monitors if you happen to need that, but for me, a single monitor seems ideal because they're easy to transport, travel with and all that kind of thing. You could even use this on the train if you're doing some traveling. I go to London quite a lot. My daughter travels from north of the country back here. So she has a two hour drive, or a two hour train journey regularly. Very convenient, doesn't take up massive space, uses the power from the MacBook. You would need to charge your laptop, of course, because it is using some power. But, you know, that's not a big deal. Most of us would charge the laptop anyway if we're going for a few hours on the train. So what can I say? Have a look at the link in the description. You'll be able to see the latest price and get hold of one of these if you want to. I'm very impressed. It's solid. It's well made. Lots of controls. You've got a built-in speaker. The case is nice. For the money, I think this is an absolute bargain. I am extremely impressed with this, as you can tell. You can see for yourself what it's like. Dead easy to use, lots of different uh, attachments. You can use the HDMI attachment, USB-C, comes with a power cable if you need that. So whatever you need, you're good to go. And by the way, if you wanted to, you could use a lightning to USB-C cable from your phone or iPad and connect into this monitor. In fact, I may even do that next just to show you. We'll see if I can find my cable. I'll add that onto the video. If not, then I'll make a separate video. Okay, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Bye.